Hey everyone, it's Mana, and today I am showing you how to curl your hair like this. Um, this is how the technique I use is how I curled my hair for both my Hannah Marin and my Emily Fields videos. But with the um, Hannah Marin video, I just had it um, brushed out, and instead of picking up thinner or smaller pieces at the front, I picked up bigger pieces, maybe instead of half an inch, an inch, or an inch and a half. Um, so, hopefully you like it. Let's um, get into the tutorial. Okay, so, um, to get into the hair tutorial, first I'm going to show you everything you need. You'll need the Conair Infinity U-Curl Curling Iron, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and get it warmed up. I turn it up to 400 because I have pretty thick hair, but it has heat settings from 400, 360, 330, and 310. So you would put it on a lower setting if you had thinner hair or if you were going to do smaller curls. Then you need um, heat protectant spray. I don't use a special curling one, I just use the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. It says it's for blow drying um, flat iron and curling irons, and it works pretty well. Then you need the um, little clippies to clip your hair out of your way. You can use the claw clips. I just like these better. Um, these are also made by Conair, and I got them at Walmart for like $2 and 8 packs. And hairspray. And I'm just using the Garnier Frutis style sleek and shine anti-humidity hairspray. Oh, and a, um, a wide tooth comb. So first, you need to section off your hair. Well, that off. Well, I should probably just, I'm going to go ahead and spray the heat tamer first. I know that's probably a lot, but like I said, I do have really thick hair. Take your... I probably only do about four big... Four or five, maybe six big curls on the bottom, depending on how I section it out. Just because you can't really see the bottom layer with my hair. And it makes it quicker this way. I'm probably going to do six today. Then you take your curling iron with the opposite hand and tilt it downward and just kind of wrap it around. Um, you don't have to worry about keeping it straight or flat and then hold it on there for um, a count of ten. Nine, one thousand ten. And then when you slide it out, keep the curl in your hand and spray it, hold it for maybe three, and then you just let it go. And that's what it looks like. It's a pretty big curl. I'd say that's probably maybe an inch and a half of hair, two inches. And you just do that to all of your hair on the bottom. I'm going to get that done. Okay. And that's that side. And then when you do this side, um, let's get working from front to back just because it's easier to work from front to back. Um, you take doo -doo -doo. once again with the opposite hand and then wrap it around. and hold it for a count of ten. And you just slide the curling iron out. And that's it. Um, what makes this curling iron better is because it doesn't have a clamp and it has kind of a um, tapered barrel. So it 
makes the curls look a little better. So now that I've got the bottom curls done, we'll start working on the top layer. And push those to the back, and if you want, you can kind of clip them and bunch them together so that they stay out of your way. And then you guys should probably clip the um, other way so that way they stay. And clip them up close to the root so that way you're not smushing the curl. Okay, and now that I've got that clipped, separate this along my part line. And I know that doesn't leave very much on this side. So I've got that all that. And when I curl the top, I curl from back to front just because it's easier and it's less likely for me to catch the curls in the bottom and accidentally comb them out or something. So you do the same technique you did on the top. taking smaller bit or the same technique you did on the bottom but this time you take smaller bits this is maybe an inch and you hold it for like a count of eight if you have thicker hair four seconds if you have thinner hair and then hold the curl up close to your scalp and spray And, that's okay. what it and then when like. you start getting towards the front, when you get in front of your ear, you um, need to work down lower with the curl. So that way you have more straight part. And try to do these curls smaller. So maybe half an inch of hair. And then... And so you've got a lot of hair left up near the root. And then it looks like that. Um, I've got some shorter yeah. layers in there. I spray them a little bit so they stay back. And now on to this side. This side's always a little harder for me just because um, I'm right handed and I seem to work the curling iron better with my right hand, but so this side always looks a little wonky. Oh, my parts aren't even. So, That's what that curl looks like. And curl this around. This is I do the same thing on this side with my bangs that I did on the other. I just, just kind of flip that around the curly iron and then tuck them into this curl right here. So that way they're kind of out of the way. And then I'll take this down in the back here, let this out. Okay. 
that's how I generally curl my hair. And then for how I had it curled in my Hannah Marin video, I just took slightly bigger pieces and then I combed it out. I'm not going to comb it out because I plan on putting my hair in a ponytail today, which is how I wore it in my Emily um, Fields video. So that's just how I generally curl my hair. Doesn't take long, um, maybe an hour total for getting it curled and letting all the curls cool because I let them cool completely, all of them, before I even touch them. And that's everything. Thanks for watching. Bye.